prevents one from engaging in the broader world, and I think probably I was a little bit guilty of that. Now, do you think that uh, the movies themselves can uh, be agents of change? I mean, are you, do you get attracted to roles because you feel that they are going to uh, illuminate issues, or is it really only about, this is great material and I want to do it? Well, I'm not a political animal um, by, by nature, and I don't think that, I think art um, and cultural product, it's a provocation, but I don't see um, my role as a political one. For, for instance, it was really interesting to hear um, the extraordinary women behind fire, which is as revolutionary in, you know, 96 as it is now, and I've just recently made a film with Todd Haynes um, about two women falling in love in um, the 1950s, released this year. And it's, it, the film itself is not political, but what happens is once it's released into the wider world, and it depend, it's all about context, isn't it? So the work can become <coughs> political, but my motivation to, to get involved in it um, is really just about the stimulation of the conversation and the hope that if I'm engaged, then people are. But I do think um, your role as, a, as an actor, as an artist, is, is not to be polite. Um, it's to provoke. It's not there to be liked. I mean, people will dislike what you do as much as they like it, but um, it's to provoke a conversation. But you can't necessarily then try and micromanage it. So, I mean, I'm interested in, certainly I work at the theatre company. We were very interested in, um, we did uh, a work about drought um, at the time that um, there was a terrible, terrible drought. And so